Your videos are not funny and are put together poorly. <laughs> I hope I don't look too tired. I don't want people to think that I'm too tired making these videos. I am, but like, I don't want people to think that. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having either a wonderful Easter or a very relaxing Sunday. Today I have a really fun card plan with a lot of different sets, a lot of different techniques, and I think it'll be really cute and fun. This week I wanted to add some cool like uh, textures into the card, and then I still haven't gotten Copic markers. I'm still working with Gamsol, but I did not spill it today, so I do get to use my new mat. So without further ado let's get into the card okay so as you can see this is my setup for today's video I also have my new mat oh wait a minute okay well I don't have two of my nails painted hold on and we're back so these are the products we're going to be using today we will be using this sized uh, decorative tag from the Gina K designs and thermoweb die set Then we will be using fine detail silver embossing powder to emboss one of our images and we will be using Versmark with that and then we will be using some twine later on. So these are the sets we're going to be using today. This is Gina K Assorted Greetings and I will be using this little hello right here. Next we are going to be using the sunshine is stuck right here but we will be using this set, Hello Beautiful, and it has this jar that we're going to be using and we'll be using the word sunshine as well. And this is Tropical Blooms and we'll be using this large set stamp down here. We're going to start out with stamping our flowers. I'll show you how to ink it in, ev in different areas when the images are really close together and you want them to be different colors. So yeah, keep watching. This is already a mess. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna give this blue piece of paper kind of an effect that like house siding would have. We're gonna just put a bunch of like lines in them. And I'm going to put each crease at um, every half inch so they're evenly spaced out. And this piece of paper is five by four and three quarters of an inch. Okay, and make sure they're really like distinct and even. I know it will be tempting to fold. Please don't. So you can pick which side you want. This side's more stuck out and this side's more like inward and I'm not sure which one I'm going to do yet but you also want to flip it over and then make sure you score the ends over here because you can't usually fully reach the edges of the card when you score it which is okay but it just requires Oh my gosh, <gasps> I messed up. Okay, I'll, I'll be right back, I'll be right back. <sighs> anyway, so here's what that looks like. I'll zoom in a little bit. So it has these nice like even ridges in it and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this, uh, what is this called? This is the large set of the single stitch rectangles and this is the largest one in the set. So I'm going to line it up about right there so you can still see the ridges on the side but it pretty much lines up with these ones at the top and bottom that's also why I like to measure it this way is because this is four inches long and if you divide it up by a half inch each way it'll line up perfectly so we're just gonna line this up send it through the big shot and then so it'll be a nice layered design kind of like the stenciled kitties video I did Okay, so this is what it looks like after you cut out the rectangle, and you might have to go over these divots a little bit with the score buddy or score pal again, and that's okay, just be patient because you might slip, ow, I just hit my elbow again, you might slip and rip or score along the wrong side or something, or it just could be bad, so make sure you're being patient. We want to start by, as I said, lining things up, and I'm going to put it about there. So now we just want to tie this down with our magnets. I still haven't figured out the magnet thing. I don't know what I need to do to crack this code. So here's my trick. So I have these things. They're like post-it notes. They're tabs. And I use them on my textbooks to indicate what I need to read and as you can see I am completely caught up in readings so but you know what 
Right now I'm gonna worry about stamping. The image I don't want is up here. This kind of extends past where I want the card to be. So right where it ends, I'm gonna put this post-it thing. This you can get at any like office supply store and it's just really easy because it has this like tab thing to make it easy to remove. So that's why I recommend it. So we're gonna start with the pink and this is bubblegum pink. The only thing you gotta remember is you gotta take it off. Okay, so now that it looks like a crime scene, you can ink it up everywhere and make sure you don't get it on this part right here because that will show up and kind of mess with everything and you know what if you have to do a couple trials of this it's totally fine it took me about 18 tries that's why I did it pretty fast so oh my god you guys just watched me do it I'm gonna try that again oh. okay now we take everything There we go, okay. Now, we don't wanna move anything. We just now want to relocate where we put our post-it notes. So next we're going to be taking Jelly Bean Green to make these leaves. And that is going to be also the background color of our card. Oh, it's so cool. Okay, so I just got a little bit of green right there, but whatever, it's okay. But I think that looks pretty good for now. So now you can remove it from the Misty, or not the Misty, this, this is the Misty, this is the Misty. I'm sorry, Ileana, love you. Thank you for the bag, I love it. It's very pretty, I, I actually really like that. So next thing I'm gonna do is work on coloring it in and I'm gonna use Gamsol. I'm just gonna do the same technique I've done for every video and just go around the outside and then color it in towards the middle. So my hand has a massive cramp in it but I thought I'd let you stop and see the progress I have so far. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna do but usually these lines, I color them in a little bit. I did it before I used the Gamsol and I wasn't really a fan of it, so I'm gonna Gamsol this and then see what I'm gonna do. I'm cramping, but I'm still stamping. So I'm gonna add a little bit of just lines, cause there were lines on the stamp, but they're a little hard to see now. Okay, so that is the completed colored stamp image and ugh, my Prismacolor markers are stuck to my misty. Okay, so for this part of the card, we only want to use Versamark on the part that's like covering the flowers. So it's really only this top part right here that you have to ink up. That should be good. And now we're going to take our fine detail silver. And oh, I need I need a piece of paper for this. So We're gonna just put some on there. Plugging in the embossing gun would help. Just a tip. There is our embossed image. So now I'm going to be sealing this to the front of my card. That was my computer. Thank you for interrupting me. I'm just going to seal this evenly on the card. So that's our part right now, and I know the jar is a little more covered than I wanted it to be, but that's okay because now we can fit our greeting here and we don't need a tag anymore. Next thing we're going to do is stamp our greeting up here because I just measured it out and it should work. So first thing we're going to do is take the sunshine, which is a part of the Hello Beautiful set with the jar, and I'm just gonna ink that up. I'll be using, what color is this? I'll be using Sweet Corn Ink Cube from the Autumn Collection, just because it, it has a little bit more um, dimension for a yellow. So there's the greeting, and up here, I'm going to super finely fit Hello from the Assorted Greeting set. Now, it's very important to put the cornstarch on here, you get no excess powder stuck on there because that would ruin your final card. So I'm just going to take the Versamark, put it right above the hello. Hello is very small on there, but it goes a little bit on the S, which is okay. I kind of wanted them to overlap. Like these are overlapping, so that'll kind of like have two like of the same technique or look in the same card. Technique, it's really just a mistake, but. <laughs> Ow. 
Wow. Love it when it just singes your hand. And there is the front. Now, last thing I want to do on this is just add a little bit of twine, because you guys know I'm into twine right now. Okay, so this is actually like a soft, like squishy mat that I got with my Misty, but I am going to be using it to poke holes so I don't have to ruin my new mat on the first time I used it on my channel. So I'm going to start just by poking a hole right here and just making it a little bigger just to make sure I can get the twine really through. And then same thing over here, make sure they're pretty even. And now I'm going to take my twine and just cut a little bit and using the same very irritating technique. If you guys have any more techniques that are better than this, please let me know because this is what I am forced to do at the moment. It's not ineffective, it just, there's got to be an easier way. Okay, your girl finally got it through. So I'm going to have both sides kind of just strung out, kind of get rid of any weird parts. Now I'm just going to use my hands here to make a little knot. When I was little, my mom used to ask me to bring my tiny little pinky in so I could make a bow with her. I don't have someone with a tiny finger around, so we're just gonna watch me struggle to do this. So there we go. And last thing I'm gonna do is cut this right here, so... Looks like that. Last thing we have to do for this card is mount it on the back of our card and to, for, I chose the jelly bean green to tie in all the colors together because there is some green in there but I think it looks so good with this turquoise color and I know my mom said people have been liking this combination so I wanted to try it out. So let me know what you think about this card. I just have to mount it. There it is. Give you a nice little glisten. So that is the finished card. I, I just dropped it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So next weekend, I will be out of town for my cousin's wedding in Philadelphia, but I still think I'm going to make a video. It just might be a couple days late, so sorry. So I've been using twine a lot, and I've talked about how I've been really liking it, so I think my question for this week's video is, what is your favorite embellishment to add to cards? Obviously, my, right now, mine is twine. It can be really anything that's not, like, just involving with stamping or coloring, more so just to add, like, bling or extra effect to cards. So what is your favorite embellishment? Let me know. Anywhere that you see this video, comment on it and you could win this stamp set. Here, let me get some piece of paper. You could possibly win this. Let me get a nicer color. What am I doing? I have all the colors in the world here. So this is the set you can get. This is the Hello Beautiful uh, set that I used with the jar. So yeah, leave your comment below and you could be the new owner of this set, which I really like this set. I had a lot of fun with it. I love sets that have like any type of like receptacle to hold things and then a bunch of things that you can put in it to hold in it. That's the kind of set I used to always get when I was little, so this one's very fun. Also, the winners of last week's giveaway, which once again is a $10 gift certificate to Gina K Designs. Here are all five of the winners. I will leave them up for a little bit. Feel free to pause the video if you locate your name. And if you locate your name on here, send once again the message, I won the Rena K giveaway to info at Gina K Designs, and you can claim your prize. But I think that's it for this video, so remember to subscribe and like my video, and thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.